I'm sure we've all had um, a nice Saturday. Mine is just uh, midday right now, it's 12 p.m. over here. So my Saturday is just starting. Um, so I would believe that, I would assume that most of you have been attending the previous um, sessions, right? Uh, you can unmute. Uh, not, uh, it's not. It, it is an interactive session. Not. Um... Yes. Okay. Great. Great. So that's. Um, that's yes, Emeka. Okay, Emeka, and uh, yeah. All right. Good. Um, Cheloka, Badru, Fireflies. <laughs> okay. Great. So what's going to happen today, um, I'll be doing less of the talking, except for the part that where uh, I know I know for the topic we're about to take today, I think I understand that you haven't had the lectures on some of them. Um, so, but I will just give a brief overview of that. Uh, but the practical part of it, I would want you guys to do hands-on on them because I think essentially, um, by at this time, you're now familiar with SPSS, you're familiar with how it works, how to get, uh, how to analyze data using the, um, the processes. So it's going to be a whole lot easier just to follow the instructions and then get the results. And then when it comes to the results itself, uh, since you haven't had lectures for some of them, we can have conversations um, about that. I would be, I'll be able to give some explanations and then we see and, and so that we can understand ahead of the lectures for it. I understand the lectures, I think for it will be tomorrow if I'm right. Um, yeah, so this is coming before the, the practice sessions coming before the, lect the lectures at this time. Uh, but then um, that's still, that's, I mean, the principles are still the same, but um, what we did in the past um, two sessions um, is essentially very, very similar. I mean, uh, the first session I had with you, we. The, we did an introduction to SPSS. So SPSS will look at the various views, the, vari the variable view and the data view. We saw the various elements, um, uh, yeah, and how to input your variables, create variables, and how to input your data. We saw all that. By the next session, we talked. We talked about um, that was last week, last weekend. We looked at um, comparison of means. So we did that and then we also did um, um, linear regression as well. Um, yeah, uh, and I recall that we were, because of time, we were not able to finish that session, um, but then uh, I had asked you guys to go back home and practice it because the instructions, the instructions are there. I think the only thing we probably did not do then was um, creating, um, uh, creating dummy variables, uh, which is not, difficult if you follow the instructions on the slides that were shared with you. Uh, yeah. Um, today we'll be doing something similar uh, to last week, but the difference is that we are not dealing with um, continuous variables this time around. Um, last, when you're, when you're dealing with, when you're doing the t-tests, um, you're dealing with continuous variables. Uh, but today we're gonna be dealing with um, the analogous uh, part of it with respect to categorical variables. So last week we saw how to compare means, right? But not all your data would be continuous. And so you would not be able to calculate means, but you would sometimes have data in proportions, right? Uh, so we will be looking at that um, today. Yeah, so I will just begin my presentation. I'll just give two, I'll just talk, um, run two slides with you and then um, you guys will do the rest, essentially. But I also, I mean, last week, we also had some people not having SPSS. Some people were come, log, logging in with their phones, but these are practical sessions and you found that, I mean, it's, uh, you wouldn't be able to learn much in a practical session by just by using your phone, you would need to practice it to, to, to be able to use it. 
and there are so many um, kinds of analysis that SPSS can do, but um, and, 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 and they're, they're, uh, they're so wide and it depends on what exactly your field is. There are some you would interact with a whole lot. There are some you may never ever touch in your life, but you see, if you have done the bit of the, if you have a bit of a background the, the, that we're giving you right now, when you're faced with um, new kinds of analysis that you haven't tried before, uh, it's not going to be difficult for you to get uh, find your way around it. You just need to okay, and this is what I want to do. So okay, how am I going to do? Uh, you you go to your the various SPSS session, find basically what you want to do, and then you try it on and get your results right. So the essence of this series of trainings is just to give you that background knowledge and then the practical session gives you the feel of what SPSS is and how you can use it. Yeah, so how many of us have our SPSS open on our computers right now? You can indicate by raising up your hand. I can see uh, Otunaya, Shedrak, Oh, Tunaya no more has SPSS in the past few seconds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, just two people that's not. Uh, I, I Philip, do you have SPSS? Okay. Um, okay, Balama has SPSS. Um, Badru, Lawal, do you have SPSS? Yes, I do. Okay, great. So just indicate, I just want to have an idea so that I can know how to plan this session. So that just keep the hands raised up so that I can know how to plan the session. If you have a space, just put your hands raised up so that I can have an idea of how to plan the session. And we also do not want to be delayed again this week. Last week, we couldn't conclude. I wouldn't want it to be the same this week. So we need to plan how to make it faster, right? Okay, great. Um, I would assume that the rest do not have SPSS. Umar? Umar? I don't have, I don't, I don't. have. Okay. Ara Mamuda? Oh, sorry, my, I don't have my computer here with me. Fumilayo? Ekundayo. Sorry, I don't have my laptop with me here. I'm actually in office, so I'm using my phone to join. Wow, okay. Well, that's going to be because, okay, let's hope that you're able to, to follow. Okay, so thank you. So that will, um, let me share my screen now. You can put your hands down. Um, yeah. How do we PDF? Okay, just share the screen and there we go. Great. Yeah, so I am a Jemai Boreme. I, um, I, I just to reintroduce myself in case there's anyone here who hasn't been in the previous lectures that I took. Um, I um, I'm a public health physician and uh, implementation scientist, as well as a research, a research associate at the University of Alberta in Canada. So that's why it's afternoon here, right? Um, yeah, so I began talking about this, the fact that we did the t-test and linear regression to compare means last week. Um, and we want to look at proportions. Now, I did mention the word that the word analogous, that, the, that there are analogous tests to what we did um, last week. Um, so for the one sample t-test, maybe do we do a refresher? Yes. Okay, great. So who can tell me about, I think one of those who don't have SPSS should tell me about the one sample t-test. Um, I one sample t-test is run when there's a kind of standard 
like a mean, and you want to compare to it. Okay, great. Thank you. So how about the pair T test? Someone else who doesn't have yeah, okay. okay. Shadrach, I thought you had your SPSS. Yes, I had my SPSS. Okay, so, so I want someone who doesn't have SPSS to, okay. to give that refresher. Pair T test. Salau. Um, yes, sir. I, I do have my SPSS, but I think the test is if you want to compare. Okay, you have your SPSS. So, yes. Yeah, no, if you, have, if you have your SPSS, then don't, don't answer the question. Um, let's. Okay. Fireflies. Fireflies AI Nutika. She didn't do it, right? She didn't. Who's that? Are you in the class? Okay, we'll move on to someone else. So someone should volunteer who doesn't have SPSS. Quick, let, let's not waste time. We have, we've gone 13 minutes already. Time is going. We would want to complete today's session. Okay. Anyone can just talk. I think it's like those who, some of those who do not have SPSS in a practical class also are not really following the class either. And that's not really um, encouraging because I don't understand if you don't have the practical and you're not responding in class, um, it doesn't really encourage me much. But so, um, yeah, so can someone else say something? Can I go on, sir? Yeah, go on, please. The paired sample test is used to check if there is a significant difference between measurement taken from the same individual or test subject between two different time points. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, so that's fine. Yeah, so it's so more like a pre and post testing, right? Yeah, yes, so sir. you compare the means here. So, how about the independent sample t test? Independent sample test. Yeah, independent sample test. Compare the effect of something on two different groups entirely compared okay. to the PhD test, where it is one test sample, two different time points. This one is two different test samples entirely. Beautiful. Yeah. So uh, you're comparing means. Don't forget that what is not, you're, you're not, you're not, um, okay. yeah, uh, you're not comparing, uh, what did you call it again? You said, um, Effect. Uh, no, it's not. This is not. You, you, you're, you're comparing the means between two samples. So it could be um, between male and female, or between someone uh, in Nigeria and someone in Ghana. Yeah. So there are two different samples, and you want to compare the means. Uh, yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. And um, linear regression. What's it for? It shows how an independent variable depends on another variable. Okay, yeah. So the word, the keyword that you use is how, right? Um, yeah, because the other ones. Okay, yeah. So, 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 uh, yeah. So it, so it gives you an idea of prediction, right? It shows yes. both association and prediction. Uh, yeah. So how does a dependent variable predict an outcome. Uh, sorry, how does an independent variable predict um, an outcome, right? Yeah, yeah so that's what um, the linear regression does. Now you find that there are, uh, that the analogous one for the one sample t test is called the, the Z test, right? Um, yeah, so I'm sure your lectures will give you details about the other two. Go, but I don't, for want of time, I, I don't think I should do that. Um, but um, the the first one looks at the means because it continues um, 
uh, variable, right? The outcome is continuous. Now you're here comparing proportions and then you, uh, your Z score is um, closely related to, uh, with, um, with your measures of dispersion, your standard deviation. And so, yeah, so um, your one sample t-test is the analog, the analogous one for comparing proportions is the Z score, one sample Z score. And then for the independent, you have the two sample um, Z score. For the independent, for also you you also um, you can also run chi square tests, uh, and for linear regression as well, you have the logistic regression being analogous to it, right? Yeah. So we'll now in looking at categorical variables, we would um, one important table is the two by two table. It defines virtually everything, most things, right? Um, so here's a, a, an example of the two by two table. Uh, it explains, it, it, it's used to explain and understand the concept of risk, odds, and all that, uh, basically associations, right? So it's, it, it can help you um, analyze various measures um, in, in epidemiology, right? Um, uh, measures of attribution in epidemiology. And um, it's, this is a big, a big table, right? But it can be used to calculate several things depending on what your study design is. For, uh, so if you're looking at risks, for example, you're still gonna have something like this. Now, if you look at this two by two table, you find um, the base characteristic conventionally, right, even though if you do it the other way around, you get the same results, but the way you interpret it may be different. I mean, the formula may be a bit different because you have swapped, swapped, swapped them, but conventional this way it's, it's presented. The rows um, are about exposure and the columns are about outcomes, right? Rows for exposure, columns, outcomes. Um, so, can someone just tell me what you understand by this table, look, just looking at it? Oh, sorry, good day. Yeah, go ahead, please. Okay, this is Victor talking. Yes, I can, okay, Victor, okay, Balama. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, okay so the two by two table, uh, so I should explain just the two by two table, right? Yes, please. Okay, so like you rightly said, the, the columns are, uh, they are, they are dealing with the outcomes while the rows concentrates on the exposures. So on the first column, the, that's the disease. That is to say the study sample or sample population who have the outcome, have the outcome of interest, all right. Are you there, sir? Yeah, 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 I'm here. Okay, so they're the ones who have the outcome of interest. That's in this case called disease. So they're the ones that have the outcome of interest. Now, something good is us. There's also something to make out of this. So now the ones who were exposed and also have the outcome of interest, they're the ones that are labeled as A. All right. Okay. So now the ones who were not exposed, but also have the outcome of interest, are labeled as C. Okay. Now, to the next row, those who do not have the outcome of interest, both we are still exposed, are labeled as B. While those who do not have the outcome of interest and we're also not exposed are labeled as D. So now, for the total, the, those who were exposed and have the outcome of interest and then those who are not exposed and also had the outcome of interest, uh, they come up as A plus B, that is A plus X. All right, so in all, we are just saying that A plus B, A plus X are those who, we are ex who had the outcome of, who are exposed, all right? Mm -hmm. So well, whether they had the outcome of interest or not, but at least they were all exposed. So the summation here is S. So now for those who were exposed, and then how the outcome of interest, and then those who are also, I mean, those who are not exposed and have the outcome of interest, that is C, 
and those who had who are not who did not have the outcome of interest that's d but we are not exposed we are summed up as y that's c plus d equals y so in next sense the second row for the total for the summation here is telling us that the y represent those who we are not exposed so whether they had the outcome of interest or not Okay, okay, but great. They were not exposed, so they come up to be as why. Thank you. Okay, great. Yeah, thank you so much. That's that, that's a beautiful explanation. Yeah. So basically, um, this two by two table tells us a whole lot of things, right? Um uh so now it can be it, it, as we go ahead, it's got that it it it, 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 uh, it can be a bit more complex than it's simple, but it can it has it can contain more elements than this, right? Uh, so here we're focusing on the row totals, which is very uh, uh, on the on the row totals, right? So we summed a plus b, and then c plus d. Uh, but I'm showing your lectures tomorrow. They will teach you. If, I, mean, I don't know if they will go through the manual process of um, how um, yeah how chi square is calculated manually before it's done with the software, and you will see um, about observed and expected values. Another two, uh, so this, this uh, you have the observed value and the expected value and how you calculate it using the row total and the column total, right? But bear in mind this that okay, um, here you have, uh, yeah. So think about these terminologies that are there that are listed below. Um, we won't use them much today, but you would use them during the lectures. Um, likelihood. Which is also called uh, the, uh, uh, the risk of outcome in the exposed, right? The likelihood of outcome in the unexposed, right? The number, of, uh, of, um, the number with um, uh, uh, the number with the disease who are exposed and the number with disease who don't have. So that's what this table is talking about, right? But you go deeper into the issue, the issue of um, risk. Today, I think we're going to deal more with odds, right? But I'm sure in your lectures, you'll talk about relative risks and um, and risk difference and all that. But today, we're going to deal a whole lot more because we're, uh, um, we're, we're, we're doing the binary regression, logistic regression. So we'll be dealing more with odds and odds ratios today. But um, when it comes to the issues of risks and all that, that will be done. Um, tomorrow but this table tells us about those likelihoods and you would see more, more, more about that as we move ahead today um yeah so activity time so um i would want those with spss who wants to do this You have the you, you have the material, right? Uh, yes, sir, but mine is not showing which one is my uh, it's just showing uh, my marital status. Sorry? Mine is just showing my marital status. It's not showing married or not married. In my own table, it's showing marital status only. Yes. So what uh, you, um what I want you to do now is just follow these steps and then you understand it better, right? Follow these steps. Okay, sir. Um, share your screen with us and follow these steps, and then we'll discuss it. Okay. Can I share your screen now? Yes, you can. Okay. But you need to disable first. I can't share. You're still sharing oh. yours. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, try again. Okay. okay. So. So this is mine. Okay, so this is what, what I want you to do. Um, I know we did this last week, so it's just a, a practice exercise. Um, yeah. or we did it two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Um, but begin with importing. Let's, let, let's demonstrate how you imported the data. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, let me, let, me, let me just close. That means I need to open up again. 
Okay, good. Sorry, sir. We don't have. I don't have this data. Um, the zip cell was shared. Check your mailbox. Check your mailbox. Sorry, when was it? Sorry. We've been using this data for the past two weeks. Okay. What's this title now? Let me search for it because I think I have Res resident doctor CSV. Okay, okay, thank you. Input data, um, database, um, uh, and then you say, okay, CSV data. Okay. Okay, great. All right. So now um, let's do your analysis. Are you there? Right. Okay, the screen is okay, cross tabs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, so no, we can't see your it. screen. We can't, okay. I think you, okay. you, you're, you're still sharing the previous screen. So, yeah, this is my screen. I can see my screen now. Yeah, I can see your screen, but I can't see what you're doing. You, the, the, the activities, you're not seeing what you. Ah, okay. Wait. Yeah, so I'm sure your, your screen, what you're working on, is not the same screen that you're sharing. Okay. Can okay, you see yes. It now? Yes, we can see it now. Yeah. You can see. So, analyze discretive statistics, um, cross tabs. Now you can see there is no place for. Oh, so, uh, so, yeah. So you so um you're putting on any row you're putting what? Email. Good. There is no okay. Let me let me just take you back. Uh -uh. Okay. You can see there's no no place for married or not married. What you just have is marital status. Marital status. Marital status. I think it's the same thing. Yeah. So do I if I do I click on marital status? Yeah. So go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Um, so why is it in the column? Is the instructions that you gave. Say put yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But <laughs> based on what I said before, why do you think it is in the column? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I mean, I'm not sure. Who remembers? <laughs> when I was showing the two by two table, I said something about convention. Is it because it's the dependent it's line? Beautiful, yeah. Outcome variable. Beautiful, yes. Yeah. So the outcome variables are conventionally put um, in the columns, and the exposure variables are conventionally put. And the rules even though if you swap it you're going to get uh, the same thing right but um yeah you it, uh, it, it, it's it's conventionally you do it this way right okay so go ahead so what next sir it's on your instruction <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm saying there's, there's no part okay. for my or no there's no so part for my the Sorry? married or not married is marital status. Not marital status. So okay, so okay, okay, okay. Um, so we are not seeing your output. Um so uh, you I'm need to share that screen. Uh, so, no, yeah, so you're you're sharing the wrong screen. So you need to okay, unshare okay. and share that particular one. Uh, it's all, it, it, yeah, you need to share yeah. this particular screen, just on share and then share that because you, you selected SPSS before, but not the yeah. output. Uh, beautiful. So share it. I think it's. Uh... Okay. It's this here, right? Oh, okay, yeah. Good. So, um, can someone talk about this?
So what do you understand from this table? You have described it when, uh, when I presented before without any data, but now you've created one. So what does it mean to you? Okay, let's see. No, anybody can talk, I mean. Is this a quiet class today? <laughs> okay, I will start looking for calling some people. Sorry, can I come in? Can I okay, go? Okay, right, go ahead. Okay, the first one, the case processing so we talked about the total number that oh, wow. Like yeah, so just focus on the clarity. focus on the on the um table. Two by two table. Okay. The table is saying for females under zero, which are the males, the male that are represented by one. I'm not sure. I think one is single, two is married, four is divorced. Or, I think. So if Sorry, I did you that, that I'll say <laughs> okay. Just no, as an no, example. One, two, three, four. No, this I think this I think your data may be wrong. That's uh, what I'm on. The data yeah, I have yeah, has yeah, one to yeah. four. Yeah. Because yeah, so it means you have more uh, yeah, you have more variables than what was in the yeah. This is not this is not the data we are working with. Uh, this is not a two by two table. This is a three by two table. We are working on the basic two by two table. Um, this is the same data I'm having, sir. The same data you are having. Yes, sir. Oh well, that's like it's different actually. Okay, okay. You know what? Um, Let's do the, that's, that's strange, how come? Hello, sir. Okay. Yeah. Is there a way you can share us your own? Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have your emails. I would have shared it to you through emails, but I don't have your email addresses. My N here is 161. Okay, you have 161, right? Yes, yes I have 161. Okay, so beautiful, so, so, so let, who, who, those who have 161 should please share. Someone who has Okay, let, let, let me stop sharing. Okay, thank you. I wonder how yeah, it's possible.